Welcome to Law Path Legal Education Video. My name is Damon Murdoch and I've been a lawyer in Australia for over 10 years. Today we're talking about debt collection. You might have seen me already talk about debt collection, but today I'm going to talk about statutory demands versus letters of demands. These are two different ways to try to collect a debt. And what's important is to know when to use it and when not to use it. A statutory demand is generally used in situations where there's no genuine dispute or where there's no right of set off. You sold a good to somebody, they received that good, they haven't complained about the good, you've issued them an invoice, they've said, oh, I'm so sorry, I'll pay later or I'll pay in installments. That is a perfect example of when you can use a statutory demand. That is because they have admitted liability for the debt because they've apologized for not paying the invoice. They've admitted they don't have enough money to pay and that's why they need payment in installments and they admitted they have the good. So a statutory demand can be used. Now what is a statutory demand? It's a demand that's issued under the Corporations Act. It's almost like commencing legal proceedings and essentially what it says is you owe a debt, you must pay that debt within 21 days or file an application to the Federal Court or the Supreme Court of your state to set aside that demand. That is, they must pay it within 21 days or file an application. And if they don't, they commit an automatic act of insolvency. If they don't pay in that 21 days or file an application on the 22nd day, they are now insolvent. That means that they have a loan with a bank, they probably breached the default clauses with the bank. It also means that now that they're insolvent, it gives you a right to then file an application with the Supreme Court or the Federal Court to wind up that company. And you can go and wind up that company and appoint a liquidator or administrator to the company to collect the assets and sell them off and pay you the money that you are due. Now, there are a lot of ways to set aside these statutory demands. And so it's very rarely, if any, do, do I ever see anyone issue one without a lawyer doing it because there, there's very strict compliance that's involved and also there's real ramifications that could happen if you get it wrong. If you get a stat demand wrong and the debtor decides to file an application to the federal court or the Supreme Court within 21 days, then they can file that application, say it's defective, say it's a genuine dispute, say they have a counterclaim, and if you end up going into the federal court or Supreme Court and it is found that it was defective or they, it's not a genuine dispute or it's, they do have a counterclaim, then they will have that stat demand set aside and they'll get their legal costs against you. So make sure that if you have a clear, genuine debt that does not have a genuine dispute, consider possibly going for a stat demand because it's a very quick resolution and it can be a very um, strong position to collect in that debt. I talk about debt uh, letters of demand in issuing legal proceedings in a separate video. So for, to watch that video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more information, visit www.lawpath.com.au. Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you next time.